Hi everybody, I'm Pete Wright, I'm with LexJet, and I am here today with the Director of Product Planning, Brian Coombs, and we are here to talk about a brand new entry into the Image Pro Graph line of large format printers, the TM355. Brian, how are you doing today? Doing very well, Pete, great to see you. Good to see you as well. So tell me a little bit about what we've got here. I know we had the TM series before. Yes. This is the next generation. That's correct. So tell me, what makes this, besides looking completely different, very aerodynamic, very smooth, compared to the previous model, which was not Nice, but yes. this is like kind of a morph between the Pro Series GP series and the old TM series. It's Correct. kind of that mix. Tell me what we have here. What's separating this from the previous model? Sure. So many things, obviously, right? So brand new announcement. We just uh, basically launched these on October third. Uh, so this is part of our TM series. We have uh, a pretty wide portfolio of image ProGraph machines. We have everything from our Pro Series and our GP series, which tend to target more of your color critical applications, high-end photography, signage, etc. And then we have our T series machines. If you look at the T series machines, there's basically four sublines. So you have your TC series, your TM series, which this is, and then your TX and TZ. And more or less as you're targeting higher and higher volume customers and reaching higher and higher volume applications, you're moving from TC to TM to TX to TZ. So our TM series, we just replaced the entire line. So we have five new models of uh, printers, and then we have, if you include the MFP configurations, 11 new models. So a lot of new technology, of course, that we've incorporated. Uh, you know, we target a variety of different industries. If you're looking at the folks that are really more in the architectural, engineering, and construction spaces, speed is very critical, of course. Uh, one of the most commonly requested features is fast speeds, right? So with this machine, that was a big focus. We increased our speed by just over 30% from the previous generation. So a really big leap as far as speeds are concerned. We're now capable of printing up to 3.2 Ds per minute, which it, in this class of series, you know, this is basically around $5,000 MSRP to reach that speed at that price level is basically unheard of right now in the market. You know, we're competing with devices out there right now that are selling in the 12 to $13,000 range that are printing slower than this machine. So 3.2 Ds per minute, uh, and up to 192 Ds per hour. So for that AEC or that technical drawing sector, that's a very important factor. That's a big step up in it's huge, huge increase in speed from one generation to the next. And then the price lead. point to stay in that range, that's fantastic. It's great value, great so value. Are we still pigment-based inks in here? We are fully pigmented-based inks. So back in 2018, when we introduced the TM series first generation, we switched from a dye-based ink set to a pigment-based ink set. So it's fully pigmented ink. And speaking of which, you know, now that we kind of made that transition, what we're really seeing since that time frame, since in the past five years or so at least, is a lot of folks no longer focusing on these models just to be used in the AEC sector, but we're branching out into more graphic focused sectors. So we're definitely seeing, because of that pigment ink, a lot of new uh, customers in the graphic space. And so we're starting to introduce a lot of new features that are more graphic focused, as opposed to simply those that were really geared more for the AEC space. So when we get into that graphic focus market, I know one of the features that we didn't have on the previous TM was that you couldn't really go through and create custom profiles and stuff like that. Is that something that can be done on this now? Absolutely, yes. So that's one of the things we changed. Uh, we replaced the magenta ink for one. So if you're looking at your reds and, and your magenta area of the gamut, of course, that's been expanded dramatically. And now what we've done is we've also created custom ICC profiles for every media type we sell. And we're making it a lot easier for folks to create custom ICC profiles. Uh, that's all something they can do a lot easier now with this machine. So it's not just necessarily that red area of the gamut, that magenta area of the gamut that's been expanded, but now because of the use of new ICC profiles, it's the blues, it's the greens, it's the yellows, it's the entire gamut now of this machine is fully encompassing that of the prior, the, the prior machine, basically. So great color with these machines. So now we should expect to see a lot of these machines popping up in retail locations that are offering customer printers. Absolutely. As well as your locations that are doing CAD drawings or line drawings and stuff. It's Correct. kind of, a, as, as far as versatility goes, it's the king of the hill. Absolutely. And for $5,000, I mean, it's a tremendous value. It's hard to beat. The really? color that's coming off these machines is incredible for a five color machine. Now, you mentioned that there was an MFP option. Can you talk a little bit about the scanner options sure. that come with this? Sure. So with our 24 inch model, uh, we have, uh, again, five new printers, right? So we have the GP uh, 2000, which is over here. That's more graphic focused. But with the TM series, we have our TM 240 
That ships with what we call our L uh, M24 scanner. So that's also been improved. You can scan thicker media. The control panel is a lot easier to use. So from a usability standpoint, as we start to target a lot of those customers that are bringing these devices in house for the first time, it's a lot easier to use this equipment as well. So we have that scanner for more of your lower volume customers. For those folks printing at a little bit of a higher volume range, we also have what we call our Z36 scanner. And that ships with our 36 inch model, which you're looking at here. This is the TM355. We also have a TM350 model, which is essentially very, very similar, but the basket's a little bit different. And these machines ship with a hard drive as well as a USB thumb drive that you can see here. You won't find that on your TM350, but you have the same Z36 scanner that could be configured with either. So you have basically two different scanners that you can configure with the TM series, depending on your volume and your application. So you mentioned there's the TM240 and the TM350. Are we talking the difference in size of papers, 24 inch, 36 inch? Are those the size options that we have? Yeah, so basically amongst the five printers that we that we announced, you have the TM240 and TM340. Major difference there really only being the width. So you have 24 inches and 36 inches respectively. And then you also have your TM350 and TM250, again, 36 inch and 24 inch respectively, and the 355. So in a nutshell, if you look at the TM240 and 340 series and compare that to the 350, 250 series, the speeds are faster and you're gonna see larger ink tanks. So as you buy the larger ink tanks, of course, it's cheaper per milliliter to run the machine. The running cost becomes a little bit more, uh, more attractive. So what's the ink capacity in the larger ink tank? Sure, so that's 130 milliliters or 300 milliliters. You have the option with the TM350, 250, and 355, but with the TM240 and 340, you're limited to 55 milliliter tanks. So with the larger one, can you mix and match the 130s and the larger size? Absolutely, yes. So if, you, if you're doing more monochrome as you are color, you can get the larger black cartridges as opposed to the color, or vice versa, of course. And one of the things I always loved about all of the Gannon printers is in cert machines, there's really no starter set of ink. So when we're looking at the 340, 350, we're talking about the 130 size ink tanks. Much larger starter sets than any of our competitors right now. So yes, right out of the gate, you're getting a huge value inclusive in that $5,000 MSRP price. You're definitely seeing much larger starter tanks than you would a competitor machine. Fantastic. What size rolls are we able to fit on this machine? This machine basically runs the gamut from 10 inch all the way up to 36 inch. And then the 200 series, that 240 or the 250, that's up to 24 inch. And are we looking at 500 foot rolls or 650 foot size rolls? Are we Basically, looking? it depends on the substrate. So if you're talking about a 20 pound bond media, very thin, of course, you should be able to fit up to 500 feet rolls. What it really comes down to is the maximum diameter of the roll itself. If you're limited to 5.9 inches with these devices, with some of our higher end equipment, you can fit even, even larger 650 foot rolls. But this one here traditionally is maxed out at about 500 feet. Gotcha. One last thing. I love that we have a new articulated LCD screen on here. Yes, yes. Previously it wasn't. It looks like oh. it's a much larger screen, more information on there. A little it bit is, more yes. So we implemented the tilt screen for the first time. That's something we haven't seen before with Image ProGraph. And then we also enlarged it to 4.3 uh, inches. So it's much easier to use. We also focus a lot on the screen itself. If you look at the menu tree and how to navigate to certain functions, these machines are far more intuitive than what we're seeing out there in the market. And even compared to some of our own higher end equipment, we know that we're, we're selling to a lot of first time customers that are bringing these machines in house for the first time. It's important to get them up and feel, you know, get a, get them up and running as soon as possible to feel as comfortable as possible with those machines. And so as far as all the, the most commonly used features, you, you're going to see a button for that right at the home screen and, and, and a much more enlarged screen, as you can see here. Very, very easy to use. And we're building a lot of automation and, and kind of usability improvements into these devices. Again, knowing that we're going after that more beginner level user in, in some situations. So for example, another uh, you know feature that we added is the ability for the printer to automate automatically detect the type, length, and width of the media with no user intervention whatsoever. So basically with these machines, you know, again, it's a water-based ink set. It can print on a pretty wide variety of substrates. The idea is to kind of circumvent the need for the user to go through that laundry list of media on the control panel and perhaps mistakenly, you know, select the wrong one and you're gonna see bad quality as a result. With these machines, the, uh, the device will actually scan the white point of the paper, so to speak, and basically choose the right type automatically. And we can even do, again, remaining width, uh, remaining length, I should say, uh, and width automatically as well. So a lot of usability improvement we're kind of adding it to these also. So basically what you're saying is you really have to try on purpose to screw something up on this machine. More or less, yes, yes. We're trying to make it as easy as possible.
Well, this is an impressive new change on this machine. I'm excited to see how it does in the market. Yeah, as are we, of course. Thanks for giving us some time today and sure. introducing this, and thank you for joining us. If you have questions about this machine, the TM355, or any of the new TM series, call us at 1-800-4-LEXJET or LEXJET.com.